Hello, welcome to Egan Sales and Rails. This video is our first leg of our 2011 Amtrak trip. The dining car is located approximately three cars to the rear of this car. Just stay on the upper level, move towards the rear. On this car, you will find our dining car. Trish is the dining car steward. And she'll be coming throughout the car shortly to give you a lunch reservation. That's our first meal today. Now all meals are included in your ticket price, so there's no need to pay for your meals upon your departure. However, if you do order an alcoholic beverage, they will charge you for that item and they will ask for you to pay for that item at the end of your meal. Opportunities. Or at your discretion. And we thank you in advance. And tonight being a short night, tonight we will we'll be pulling beds down at Shamal. After Shamal or approximately 9 o'clock, whichever comes first. Alright, that's a short night tonight we do. At this pay getting and leaving um, climate balls at 10 o'clock, which is my bedtime. Because I got to be up bright and early in the morning at about 5 o'clock to get some of those off of here. That'll be getting up at Sacramento. There's a baseball stadium. Yeah. Look like go trains. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Greg in the parlor car. At this time, I have taken uh, uh, my capacity of reservations for dinner for this evening as well for the parlor car. Uh, so both dinner and lunch have been booked totally for today's meals. The wine tasting I mentioned earlier will take place probably at about 3.30 this afternoon here in the parlor car. It's uh, open to all sleeping car passengers above the age of 21. We'll be sampling uh, two red and two white wines from Oregon and Washington, along with some artisan crafted cheeses. There's no need for you to make a reservation for that wine tasting. Uh, we'll just have an open call shortly before we begin. And again, as I said, that'll take place in the parlor car at approximately 3.30 this afternoon. All sleeping car passengers above the age of 21 are invited to attend. I apologize for the lack of capacity if any of you were disappointed about a meal reservation here.
video camera. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and if somebody else wants to take time, you have to split it. Nobody else wants to. Any no. Oh. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Last time I did that, the guy didn't catch me. So. <laughs> well, what we did is, Trisha came around. You know, I said, well, this is important for us to eat in here. And, you know, and I said, well, can we eat in our room? They had to order this. in the Gilroy Salinas corridor. More green. <laughs> More fields of whatever that is.
of that tree. I just like that chocolate. Alright, chocolate. That's good. Number one food Karen photographs. Come on. That valley. We get paid rent for them. Yeah. Yeah. Big Valley.
there. Approach signal, we're coming to a stop. What's that? We've got an approach signal. Just see the very top of that spike mountain now. Down. We may be seeing the northbound train right here. They meet quite often here. Where you go over that trestle? San Luis Obispo. There's the end of the curve of the horseshoe. Mm -hmm. Maybe the northbound's late. shortly here. Here's the trestle. Oh, it looks like a fun road in the snow. Hmm? Doesn't look like they get much snow though. No, I don't. Yeah. 
We're by ya. Can somebody wash the windows? That would be good. Get all that salt spray off of them. Making my lean out. Put your gun in a lot of stuff. Give me a ladder and a little sauce here and I'll clean my window. That's perfect. <laughs> you can relax and enjoy yourself.
Oh, there's that trestle. Ooh, well, shoot. Gotta get that. Yeah. Hope you've enjoyed this video today. If you've liked it, please indicate so and also subscribe to the channel and set notifications for our next delivery. Thank you.